everyone, happy Monday. I am so, so happy that I finally took the leap to go ahead and start my own Facebook and Instagram pages uh, for my food journeys and for you guys too. And I follow along through uh, some of the things that I, I happen to make here in my kitchen. Speaking of, welcome to my kitchen. Um, Asking about what kind of video I was gonna do on my day off. I thought, well, it's just me, so I'm gonna make lunch for, for just one. And I thought about one of the posts that I had done yesterday um, that was just a, a photo and the recipe, and that was the lo mein noodle bowl that I use ramen noodles. And what's perfect about these ramen noodle soup packets is this is tr really a serving size for just one and it's just me here today. So you have some vegetables in your fridge that you don't really know what to do with and you don't want them to go bad, this is the recipe for you. So let's get started. Okay, just real quick, here's a breakdown of the ingredients that I'm gonna use. So as I mentioned, we are using the ramen noodle packet. I'm only using one, but you may need to use two or three if you are cooking this dish for more than one person. A lot of grocery stores in their Asian sections do sell ramen noodles without the flavor packets. And those are also really great to use because they do tend to come in a larger quantity if you are making this dish for more than just yourself. You can also use traditional lo mein noodles as well as even pasta. I've used spaghetti before in this dish and it's a, a really great substitute if you don't have more of a traditional Asian type noodle. As far as the veggies go, this is what I had in my fridge. I have, um, left or right, I have about a quarter cup of a orange bell pepper, a quarter cup of green bell pepper, I have broccoli down front that I just kind of chopped into smaller pieces. And I have three baby bella mushrooms that I sliced. And at the very end here on the right, I have two green onions that I've separated the white part from the dark green part. And then to the side here, I also have some uh, shredded chicken that was from a recipe that I used over the weekend. So I'm gonna use that up. You can keep this vegetarian if you'd like, um, but I do like to add a little protein to my bowl. And then over here from the uh, yellow bowl here is gonna be the start of my sauce. So in the bowl, I already have about three tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. In the small mason jar, I do have some grated ginger as well as some um, minced garlic. You can use ground ginger, I've used that a ton. I just happen to have some fresh ginger today. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use. For a sweet component to them, I am using honey, and you can use brown sugar, uh, light brown sugar I would recommend, or even regular white sugar. And last but not least, I am going to be using some red chili paste. This stuff has uh, definitely a kick to it, so if you don't like a lot of heat, this is something that you may want to use sparingly or not at all. So um, I am using a wok. This is a Calphalon wok that I bought at Target a few years ago for about $20 and I love that I use it for most of my Asian dishes. If you don't have a wok, you can use some sort of skillet um, that I would just recommend having at least an inch to two inch lip. I'm gonna go ahead and light and keep this at about medium. I have about a tablespoon or so of coconut oil. I like coconut oil a lot for Asian dishes because it can burn at a really high heat and it doesn't smoke like olive oil would and it will definitely um, help me to cook my veggies quick and fast, which is one of the beauties, again, of this recipe. I'm cooking the noodles just as the directions say on the back of the package, and it does say to boil it for three minutes. So once that water comes to a boil, we will go ahead and put these in here. And again, you can get rid of the, the flavor packet. You're not gonna need that. It's a lot of salt, and the sauce we're gonna make is gonna be way more flavorful. All right, our oil is all melted and it's looking nice and hot. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our vegetables. I like to add vegetables in different stages depending on how thing, how fast things cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the bell peppers first. They take a little bit longer than the mushrooms. I'm also gonna add the white part of the green onion. This is gonna be my onion component and the uh, dark, part of the green onion is just gonna be for garnish. Add a little bit of black pepper. Um, you always kinda wanna season as you go, but with Asian dishes, you don't really need to use a lot of salt because uh, you're gonna add that sodium from the soy sauce. So those are cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my sauce. So as I mentioned, I have soy sauce in this bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and add my minced garlic and my grated ginger. I'm 
gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon or so of honey. Honey, but it's so sticky. <laughs> and also add about a teaspoon of the sambal. And again, you can add more or less of sambal depending on how much heat you like. All right, so we get that all kind of whisked together. And we're starting to get some color on our pepper, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and add the broccoli. So let's go ahead and get our uh, ramen noodle block. I'm actually going to set a timer for three minutes because three minutes is pretty quick and I tend to not realize how quick it is and I don't want to overcook my noodles. So our vegetables are looking awesome. Those mushrooms are starting to uh, wilt a little bit and our broccoli is nice and green. We've got some color on those bell peppers. So I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken to just basically warm it up because it's already cooked and get that mixed together. We have just about a minute left on our noodles. We're going to actually separate them from that brick they were kind of formed in. Make sure they're getting cooked all the way through. We're also going to turn down our vegetables and chicken. Everything is smelling really, really, really good. So I actually have it on low. There's our timer. So let's go ahead and drain off the noodles. We're going to go ahead and just add these directly into our wok. It's okay if some of the liquid gets in. It's just going to create uh, that starch. From the, um, from the noodles in the water will help create a little bit of a creamier or thicker sauce. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add our sauce now. So I have this on medium heat and the sauce is starting to thicken up. That pasta water actually really does help the sauce to thicken up and we're just combining our vegetables and chicken with our ramen noodles. All right, this smells amazing and looks really, really tasty. So I think it's uh, that time for me to try it. So let me get a bowl. And add a few pieces of green onion. Okay, verdict. Mm. It's really good. The vegetables are still crunchy. And that's the beauty of um, cooking them at a really high heat for just a few minutes. They are cooked through, but they're not so mushy that they just kind of taste where they one note in your, in your mouth. The chicken's a good addition. Again, kind of takes on a whole new profile flavor with uh, with that sauce. So guys, this is a super easy dish. I really hope that you try it. If you do, comment and let me know what you think. It is one of those things that I make all the time and it kills two birds with one stone. I save money by not wasting food and also not going to buying some Chinese takeout when I could just make it here in my own kitchen. Tell your friends, tell your family, anyone you know who is trying to find some new and innovative ways to uh, bring some fun dishes to their family. Um, I hope I can kind of inspire you to do that. And um, let me know too what you want me to make. If there's something that you've seen on my personal page, 
um, that you would like to meet, see me do a, a how-to video, I'd be happy to do that. Um, so give me some suggestions and let me know what you guys are thinking. Again, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go finish the rest of my lonely noodle bowl now, though. See ya.